Hello and welcome to Awesome Tech Tips. Today's video is going to show you how to hotwire Windows 10 Home Edition so that you are able to use Microsoft Terminal Services and Remote Desktop to your client. Out of the box, Windows 10 Home Edition does not support Microsoft Terminal Services. Uh, the feature is being disabled. Windows 10 Home Edition essentially is Windows 10 Professional with a lot of features disabled and stripped out of the OS so that they can sell it to you for a cheaper price. It isn't actually an entirely different operating system. It's the same operating system with stuff stripped out, which means Terminal Services is built into Windows 10. Now, uh, a cool group called SASCorp have made a really nice little tool to hotwire and re-enable the terminal services so that you are able to avail of the functionality and I'm going to show you now how to do it. First things first, you're going to want to check a couple of settings anyway. Um, I've already done these settings so I know that they're there and what's been put in place but for your sake let's go through them. So the first thing is you want to check your IP address and your host name. So open up command prompt, type in host name. There you go. Take a note of that. Next thing you want to do is type in ipconfig and take a note of your IP address. Next up, you want to check your network settings. Don't bother with this fancy boxy stuff. Go back to the old fashioned network and sharing center. That's where the power is. And you want to make sure that these two here are enabled. If they're not enabled, you're not going to be able to find your machine. And of course, I suppose the first thing you should have checked, but the next step is to make sure that you've got RDP switched on, which you can do like this. There you go. If you're if you want to change your host name, if you've got a crazy name for your computer and you want to make a simpler one. You just click on computer name, type in the description there, click on change, type it in here again, OK, apply, OK, restart your computer and you'll end up with an easier host name. Now to show you that everything's enabled here but it's still not working, let me just show you that from my local host. So you see we're getting a reply from the host name and we're getting a reply from the IP address but we are not getting anything to terminal services. So, let's fix that, shall we? What you want to do is you want to open up Google and it's off to GitHub we go. You're looking for, you know what, you could also do that as well. You can type in RDP wrap and that will bring you to where we need to go. Uh, sign in and give a great big thanks to these guys here. Um, as far as I know, this was done by Binary Master. So big kudos and thank you to Binary Master for this. This is what you want to download. I think this is scanning the entire computer. That's not what I want. Cool. Zip safe, unzip safe. The only reason why Chrome was freaking out is because of the changes that it makes. Uh, 
Okay, and now let's do a chuck. Sweet, works. So we can close all this down now, and now we're good to go. So now let me drop this down and try again. And now it should work fine. Job done. So thank you all for watching. Um, this concludes the video on how to fix your RDP connection on Windows 10 Home. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. And, uh, otherwise, take care. Bye-bye.